All right guys, we're out here today again, and I'm totally focused today on common carp using pack bait. Had some good luck recently, caught my Bayou Slam a couple of days ago, which is a catfish, a tilapia, and a carp, which in this case was a grass carp on bread. And I have not been able to catch common carp lately. Been trying over and over again with bread. They just seem to turn their nose up at it. I had some pack bait, threw it at them. They turned their nose up at that as well. But I found out later that that pack bait was nasty. I had thrown some bread in there um, and I left it out, not in the refrigerator, and it developed this massive yeast colony in there and it stunk to high heaven. So I can see why they wouldn't want to eat it. So I got fresh pack bait today. I'm gonna throw it out there and see what I can get. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, here we are back at the spot. You guys know the spot. If you don't, check it out above. There's a link to it right up there on the card, uh, but this has been my go-to spot lately. Ton of mullet today. There are some um, plecos, aka armored catfish right there cruising, and I'm pretty sure down that way there are some common carp. Uh, when I was here the other day, they seemed to really focus in on these cracks and crevices here and really get down and root in there. So we're going to throw the fresh pack bait and hopefully we can get one to bite. If not, I brought the bread and we'll be good. All right guys, this is what we're gonna be throwing today. This is my uh, pack bait. It's not my recipe, but it's super simple. I'll put a link to it up above the video where I make it and down in the description. It's oats, can of sweet corn, and strawberry jello. I've also added a little bit of almond smoke, which is a uh, attractant for carp don't really think that's totally necessary I just had some and I want to throw it in there all right so what we're using today is the method feeder you pack the bait in there put a little bit of corn on your hook pack that in there and throw it out there and it kind of makes a little chum pile if you will attracts the fish they start eating on it pick up the piece with your hook on it and then it should be game on at that point so what I'm gonna start out with corn on the hook you don't need a ton of it. One or two pieces will work. Uh, the fresher your corn is, the, the hardier it will be on the hook. So you just have that. And then you just reach down into your pack bait, grab some, kind of smash it on there. Now they do make molds for this. Um, to me, it's kind of more hassle than it's worth. I can just pack it on with my hands. My hands get a little dirty, but it's all right. So you pack it on there, and then I just throw the hook in there, just like that. Now again, with a bait this big, I am going to scare fish when it first hits the water, so I wouldn't worry about that too much. They will come back. really see my bait right now but I do see there's a common right back there that I see making his way up so I'm gonna let my bait play out for now see if there's enough left to entice him. Alright this time I'm gonna walk it down there get it close try to minimize the amount of bait I lose on the cast the fish here are really kind of keyed onto threats from above, like birds and things like that. So shadows scare them a little bit more than noise does. The only thing I can guess is that they don't like my bait or I don't have any on there right now. There's another pickup. Pick it up again. Come on, buddy. Fish on. Yes. Finally. Oh, yeah, buddy. All right. Yes. Finally. Oh, and I left my net way back there. Okay. Woo wee. That is pretty amazing how, oh, just being in the right spot makes all the difference. This guy swam by my bait. Oh, dude. 
couple of times but as soon as I got it into the right spot oh man he's tough he's a good fish he's a really good fish I'm just trying to work my way back oh I can feel the snags okay he's up got him out of that hole I could feel my line rubbing there once I got it into a spot he wanted it and he was comfortable eating it he took it I was really almost about to um, reel it in because I didn't think I had any more bait on my hook but there must have been one little nugget of corn left now the one kind of worry with the method feeder is now I have a big weight right next to my fish so it can cause a problem Woo. nice run nice run the common carp fight a little more like a redfish I mean they're not a redfish by any stretch but they are a lot stronger I find than the grass carp I catch out of here the grass carp have two or three runs in them and then they're done these guys have multiple runs and they're pretty strong which makes them great fun let's see if we can get this guy in here a big fish let's see where's the deeper part I think the deeper parts down here I want to get him into some deeper water so it's easier for me to scoop him of course the problem is, is then it's easier for him to fight me come on buddy Back to my eight foot setup today, which does make landing these fish a bit of a challenge on this angle. Come on, dude, I'll let you go. I promise when I get you in here. Oh yeah, beautiful. Beautiful common carp. Look at the colors on that guy, yes. Oh, finally, I've been hunting this dude for weeks now. Not been able to land him. So stoked. There we go, it's fantastic. Beautiful fish, thanks dude. Appreciate it today, buddy. Woo. My other Braze Biofishing videos are here in this playlist. And hit that subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Tight lines, guys.